is good all my dudes out there, it's your boy Roxel, and today we got a different type of video. You remember my promise, or rather the bet that I made with Chaos Nightfall about what happens at 100 subscribers, right? Well... Let's unbox this together. I'm honestly kind of wondering how it is that they managed to put all of this into this size package, because it's a really small package. Is that what she said? They actually fucking rattle. Listen to this. Uh, let me let me take it out of the bag. That might be a good idea. Just listen. These are the gloves. I got some meaty ass hands. This is probably going to be one of the things that just straight up doesn't fit. They do stretch. That's good. Do they stretch enough is the question. I guess they do. It's like a morph suit hand. These are socks. I remember seeing in one of the, uh, in one of the reviews for these that, um, these definitely are not for thick thighs. <laughs> that doesn't sound good for me considering I'm a kicker. These do stretch a lot? Uh, maybe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, these are cuff sleeves. Again, I have no idea what this is for, but there are two of them, so I'm guessing this is like for around the thighs. I believe this is a collar. It got Velcro on the back. Yeah, that's probably a collar. This is the apron thing. This is so much stuff. I could be ending up like spending 10 minutes just putting this on. Is this the top? Oh, it's all one piece. Okay. I will see you in however long this takes. Transition. Oh, motherfucker. Not bad, right? Fucking cute. Anyway, I got games to play, so let's let's get to that. Oh yeah, also. Ugh. <laughs> this collar just doesn't stay on. It's kind of funny. So this one is the princess's maid. I just saw this on itch.io and it looks like visual novel. <laughs> That's all I really know. So like, let's start this game and figure this out. Oh, uh, mother. What's your name? Press enter to use the, the default. Uh, no. Uh, it's Roxanne. This is loud as shit. The game will start now. Enjoy. Okay. Yes, master. Dots. Who the hell is this? Olivia. Sister! Who am I? Roxanne. What is it, Olivia? Your apron's undone and your dress is all crumpled up. Not to mention the cut on your cheek. Did you trip and fall again? There's no cut on her cheek. Jeez, what if I did? It's nothing important. Okay, Olivia. Anyway, Princess Tatiana and Princess Martha are at it again. Okay, you have to come over Princess Tatiana's... Already with the, um, not strong grammar. You have to come over Princess Tatiana's room quickly. Okay. Again. Even when we won't have much time left to be together. I'll bring some cookies and tea over and try to find a way to calm the two princesses down. Got you. I'll go with you. Thanks, Olivia. Lady Martha, Lady Tatiana, may I come in? Perfect timing, Roxanne. Don't you think red suits me better? As I thought, I'll be taking this dress with me. It does look good. Please put it down, Martha. That's the dress Mother gave me. Okay. Seeing why they're fighting. You can take whatever you want from me, but please th leave that one alone. I'm on Tatiana's side right now. <laughs> Boo, you're no fun, Tatiana. Mother told everyone to give this dress to the first princess after she died. What if I was the real older sister in Mother's womb and you were just the one impatiently shoving her way out first? They're twins. And you look ugly and red anyway. Stop that. I see no point in giving it to yourself. Keeping it to yourself. I'm... I swear I can read. You can say whatever you want, Martha. I don't care. It's mine and that is that. You have no right to take it away from me. <laughs> Mother never gave me any... Fuck. She must have not brought enough money with her when she went shopping for a dress. <laughs> when she went shopping for dress. How dare you speak of mother that way? My ladies, please forgive me for interrupting your conversation. 
but the tea's getting cold. Why don't you take a sit over here and continue discussing over tea and cookies? All right, anything you say, my dear Roxanne. Okay. Come, Tatiana, let's put this squabble on hold a little bit. My throat's all dry from bickering with you. Okay. Your tea is the best, Roxanne. Yeah, I love the cookies you bake, too. I'm pretty good at cooking. <laughs> Baking, I mean... <laughs> You're gonna be the greatest maid ever. Fuck yeah. Oh, Lady Martha, you're making me blush. No. I don't think so. You're hardly blushing. A real mature woman knows when to conceal her feelings, Olivia. Okay. But you're fine the way you are. You're always so desperate and frantic. That's adorable. <laughs> it makes me want to protect you. What? I'm not... I feel the same way. It's fun watching you get all flustered, my dear Olivia. God damn. They, so we get to tease Olivia. Got it. Ah, please stop. No. I'm not a kid anymore. Stop treating me like one. Jeez. Nah. But we'll always see you as our cute little sister. Come on, Lady Tatiana. Not you two. Ah. I may have to take these gloves off. It's fucking hot. Not in that way. Even your pout is cute. I said stop. No. It's true that you're not a kid anymore. Time flies so fast. We're all adults now, huh? Dots. Dots. Dots again. <sighs> eh, Olivia, what's wrong? D did we hurt your feel- Your feeling. Please don't cry. Ah! Not doing that. It's not <clears throat> your fault, Lady Tatiana, Lady Martha, to think that after this week's over, It'll be a very long time before I can see you again. <laughs> Even my sister will have to go with one of you. And I will be left all alone in the castle. Just think... Just think about it makes me... I... Why do you have to get married to strange men in faraway lands? Really calling out the princess narrative right here. <laughs> oh, my poor Olivia. Please don't cry. Cheer up. You can always keep in touch with us by writing letters. That's right, and even if you won't be able to meet us for a very long time, the bond we have between us will never break. Cute. I can promise you that. Can't you see how much the two princesses adore you? Please stop crying, Olivia. You're going to make me feel sad too. Um, Roxanne? If you of all people cry here, I, I don't think I can hold back my tear. Er, I don't wanna leave. No one does, Lady Martha, but it's your duty to our kingdom. But as Lady Tatiana has said, even if we're separated, we'll always be good friends. Oh, Roxanne. Princess Tatiana leans into Roxanne. I I'm sorry, please let me stay like this for a moment. It looks like I'm not as strong as I thought I was after all. This could have used a little bit more proofreading, that's all I'm seeing so far, but so far I do like this story. Lady Tatiana. Hey, it's not fair, I want to hug Roxanne too. Um, me too. The two princesses, Olivia and Roxanne, engage in a tight group hug. It's a little bit hard to breathe. Oh, uh, God, I can't breathe. This choker's too tight. I'll write lots and lots of letters. Me too. I'll even send you guys gifts and souvenirs. And I will make sure to reply to each and every one of your letters. I swear on my name. They stayed like that for a while. Dots. Have you all calmed down? Yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> if we keep doing this every day, soon we won't even have any tears left for the real departure. Okay, Roxanne, now that we've finished all the tea- I, I gotta take off one of these headphones so I can hear myself. Now that we've finished all the tea and cookies, I want you to tell me your honest opinion, okay? Which one of us should take this dress? Oh, Martha. Shh, Tatiana, we'll have to get back to this subject sooner or later, right? It's unnecessary to keep bickering about this in the first place. No matter how you look at it, I'm the rightful owner of that dress. Please put an end to this foolish fight, Roxanne. Oh, no. Now I gotta piss off one of them. Of course. I do agree with... Tatiana on this one. Enter. There it is. Dots. And I thought you were different, Roxanne. Stop that. I understand that everything has always been hard for you, Lady Martha. But I don't wish to see you and Lady Tatiana bickering over trivial matters anymore. Not when the precious time we can spend together is running out. Lady Tatiana is going to Palavron to marry said country's prince. You too, Lady Martha. You'll become the... Uh, the illis... 
Elista Prince's wife in two weeks. I know that comparing to Palavron, Elista is just a barren wasteland, but I think you'll still be able to buy a dress that looks like this there. This dress is not only an object, it also serves as Lady Tatiana's precious memento. Please, Lady Martha, for once, be less stubborn. Dots. I like you, Roxanne. I like how you always speak your mind without being afraid that you'll offend someone. All right, you win, Tatiana. The dress, it's yours. I won't take it away from you anymore. Thing would have been way easier if you were like this from the start. Easier, did you mean boring? Well, I had a great time seeing your scowling face, so it's not like I didn't get anything out of this. So, Roxanne? Yes? Have you decided on who to follow yet? We've given you the right to choose, and it's been a while. Please give us an answer now. So, Palavron or Ilista, Tatiana or me, which will you choose? Lady Martha, Lady Tatiana, I've thought a lot about it. I... I don't know. Because so far, like, I've liked... Tatiana more, but you know what? Let's keep on helping her out. Roxanne, you're not going to have great time in Elista. You understand that, right? I understand. That's why I chose to follow you, Lady Martha. Congratulations, Martha. <laughs> I'm not going to complain because it's her choice and because it also seems like the right thing to do. It's going to be quite lonely in Palavron without Roxanne by my side, however. I feel the same. But I simply can't let Lady Martha be by herself without a friend in the middle of Elista. That is something I didn't think about, but it is a better choice. Okay, I'm going to protect her from anything that threatens to harm her. But it's not like you'll be on your own, Lady Tatiana. I'll always pray for your safety and health. I'm pleased to hear that, Roxanne. I feel like I'm going to cry again. Silly Tatiana, don't cry. I think I'm going to cry too. Thank you, Roxanne, for choosing to go with me. Of course. So you've chosen which princess you want to serve with no hesitation. Uh, there was some hesitation, for sure. You never fail to surprise me, Roxanne. Okay. I've been thinking about it a lot. I might end up regretting it a bit. But the princesses expects me to decide. I can't let them down. Uh, I can never be as amazing as you, sister. Stop that. You're fine the way you are. Dots. <sighs> The head maid's calling me. I gotta go. Be careful not to trip. Oh, jeez, stop telling me that. I'm not a kid. Ah! Are you okay? Olivia ignores Roxanne's question. The princess is, even if one of them gets the dress, the other one's still unhappy. Olivia's mumbling something as she exits the door. There's 13 days left until the double weddings of the kingdom's first and second princesses. What is Roxanne going to do? Day one. Oh, jeez. Work, train. Let's talk to our sister if she needs it. Let's start the first one like this. Let's try that. Morning. Strength. Oh, more strength, more stress. Even when Roxanne's a professional maid, she still have to attend housework and martial art training every day. It's hard. Please cheer for her. Do your best, Roxanne. Okay. Afternoon. Nice weather today, isn't it, Roxanne? Sure. Yes, milady. Perfect for frolicking with the kids from the villages around the castle. What's with the face, Roxanne? Aren't the children cute? Well, they are cute. They're just a little too energetic. If you don't like playing with children, you don't have to come, my dearest. My apologize, Lady Martha, but it's my duty as a maid to see your needs today. Lady Martha, Lady Martha. Cool. We made a flower crown for you. That's dope. My, how precious. Please put it on. Put it on. Cute. All right, how do I look? You super pretty lady Martha. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> that. I'm flattered. Thank you. Was that the right sound? That. All of this is really awkward. I'm just trying to figure this out. We made one for you too, Miss Maid. How nice. Put the flower crown on, Roxanne. I'm sure you'll look super cute. Um. Put it on, Miss Maid. Children, I can put the flower thing on myself. It, stop tugging on my apron. Uh, watch out. Roxanne tackled Princess Martha to the ground. What? An arrow flew over their heads. What the hell? Children, are you okay? What? 
They don't seem to be hurt anyway. It's dangerous. We can't stay here any longer. Let's leave the children to the guards and head to somewhere safer, Lady Martha. Someone just tried to kill us. That's fun. All right. Good thing I showed up. Wait a minute. If I didn't show up, would she be dead? <sighs> that was so dangerous. Ah. The assassin's been captured. Please rest assured. Lady Martha, are you hurt anywhere? I'm fine. How about you? You don't have to worry about me, Lady Martha. I'm fine. Don't lie. I saw your left knee bleeding a moment ago. Let me see it. It's of no importance. I can treat it myself later. All right, if you say so. In the end, I'm glad nobody got seriously hurt. These assassination attempts have almost become a daily part of my life now. What the fuck? Even Tatiana is not subjected to this kind of treatment. I wonder who I've pissed off. Lady Martha. Hmm, enough with this depressing talk. I'm all tired and sweaty. Let's take a bath to g Hey, yo. I am a la I will go prepare the water right away. I said together. That means you'll have to strip two rocks. So. Of course. You the cat be. What the fuck? That's because I'll get to see Lady Martha's gorgeous naked body again. If I have to censor this again, I'm gonna be mad. The same applies to me. Princess Martha and Roxanne spends a lovely while together in the bath. Okay, no censoring needed. Good, thank you for that. Roxanne went to Olivia's room, but she's already gone to sleep. Good to know. It's getting late, so right, Roxanne decides to go to sleep. Day two, let's rest again. But we'll do this, and we're gonna train one more time for a little bit more strength, and that way we can do a little better. All right, let's see. Morning. Yeah, we've already seen this. Afternoon. Wah! Oh dear, what happened? Why are you crying? Rachel took my doll again. Fucking Rachel. Why don't you ask her to return it? She'll hit me if I do- What the- Come on. And crying about it won't solve anything. Don't you want to get your doll back? But I can't fight against her. Lady Martha, won't you tell Rachel to give back my doll for me? Dots. Hmm. As much as I wanted to, that won't do. I can't tell her to give the doll back for you. To you for now, but... What are you gonna do if she does that again when I'm not here anymore? Lady Martha... <sighs> Don't look at me with those eyes. Roxanne? I'm here, my princess. And I brought... Mitchell with me, too. I'm gonna say it's Mitchell. It's not Mitch. I I'm Rachel. What? Shut your traps. Do I look like I can't? Oh, wow. I'm I'm a bitch. Okay. Listen up. You'll cause Lady Martha even more headaches if you don't solve your problem quickly. So let's decide who gets to keep the doll through a wrestling match and get this over with. <laughs> a, a wrestling match? But it's my doll in the first place. L look, I can return the doll to her just fine, right? There's no need. Silence. Lady Martha and I will be the judges, and that is that. I'm going to count to three. If you don't start wrestling now, I'm going to have both you two and your families thrown to jail. One. Dots. That was quite a scene. Lady Martha, here's your tea. Hmm, thank you. But tell me, Roxanne, what's gotten into you today? Forcing two little girls to fight like that. Hmm? I thought you would find it entertaining, Lady Martha. No. Only you found that entertaining, seriously. I'm relieved the little girls only came out a little bruised. I shouldn't have let thing get complicated in the first place. I don't think it's complicated at all. After all, don't you want girl A to become more independent from me? <laughs> girl A? She fought well and got her toy back on her own. You should be proud of her. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Did you see the way she bit Rachel when she choked her? It's pretty violent. I didn't know she had something like that in her. She's actually not a weak kid at all. It's about time she realizes her own strength. Actually, part of the reason I made the little brats fight was also because of the way you look at Mitchell. It's Rachel, Roxanne. So you realized? You took pity on her too. It's not pity per se. I guess I just saw my child self in her. I kind of understand why she took the doll in the first place. Did you see the way Michelle fought for that? Even with me standing there as the judge, she just not hold back at all. Yes, she looked rather desperate. It was because you gave her a chance. She's an orphan who has nothing. She's jealous of the kid who has everything. And she only has brute strength to get what she wants. But in the end, it's futile. As much as she wants it to be hers, what she does is wrong and sooner or later she'll have to return the thing she steals. It's foolish. 
Lady Martha. The princess, Princess Martha pulled Roxanne in for a hug. Won't you let me stay like this for a while, Roxanne? You can hug me for as long as you want to, my princess. Hmm, I can't believe that I let trivial and totally unrelated stuffs like this let me down again. Say, Roxanne, have you ever missed your mother? I barely remember my mother, milady. I was separated from her ever since I was little. I'm sorry, I shouldn't ask you about this. Do you miss the queen, Lady Martha? As much as I don't want to, sometimes I wonder if things would be different if she were still around. <sighs> this is no good. I'll be a depressed bride by the end of this month if I keep on sulking like this. Let's play a game together to lighten up the mood, shall we, Roxanne? Yes, milady. Which game do you want to play? <laughs> Something fun with lots and lots of physical activities. As you wish, milady. Princess Martha and Roxanne spends a lovely while playing a very fun game together. I feel like... No, no. We're not gonna ruin this wholesome story. A maid should always work hard, but it's not good to get all stressed out. Roxanne decided to spend her evening relaxing a little by reading some nice books. That's porn. Don't ask her where she got them from. Work? Now talk to her and her. Done planning. Morning. Duh, nosebleed. <laughs> Roxanne gets to serve Princess Tatiana today. Princess Tatiana works hard for the sake of her people, so Roxanne will work hard for the princess's sake too. It's also super windy today. Yeah, your pants are risk. Afternoon. Where is it? Where could it be? Lady Tatiana, what's wrong? Oh, Roxanne, perfect timing. Do you remember the small wooden ring that I always keep inside my music box? How long have I been recording? I can't fucking believe that I just did that. I've been recording for a half hour, and I just realized that I haven't been recording. Evening. Ooh, bad time. Oh no, it's not good to get all stressed out. Roxanne decided to spend her evening relaxing by taking a bath. But Sister bonding time, getting- I completely forgot. I forgot. Oh, Roxanne, perfect timing. I'm mad at myself. That took another 10 minutes. Do you remember the small wooden ring that I always keep inside my music box? I do, milady. Did you lose it? I'm afraid so. I can't find it anywhere. Could you help me look for that ring? Of course, my lady. Dots. Lady Tatiana, I found it. Thank goodness. Where was it? It was under the armchair, but I'm afraid you can't wear this ring anymore. It's broken. No. No way. Let me see. Dots. Princess Tatiana looks so distraught. Can it be fixed? It's already broken into two pieces. That could easily be fixed! I'm afraid it'd be very hard to reattach them together. This ring's not made of gold or silver. It's just an old and worn out wooden ring. It's too small to fit even your pinky. Is it something precious to you, Lady Tatiana? Dots. Yes, it is. But there's no use crying over spilled milk now. <laughs> I was careless. I guess in the end, it's not that important. It's just a ring that I won from a foolish bet with Martha when we were small. Thank you for helping me, Roxanne. Of course. Princess Tatiana returned to her work desk. Evening. Olivia? Yeah! Fuck. What are you doing? It's nothing. Nothing? How suspicious. You made a mess of your room. The head maid's gonna get mad at you again. Boo. L like I care about that. Hmm. What's with these scrap fabrics scattering around? Are you making a dress? Uh, yeah, and? Oh my god. Are you making a new red dress for Martha? It's just my personal project, it's none of your concern. Olivia, so you're making a replica of the red dress that the queen gave Lady Tatiana. Dots. <sighs> Nothing can get past, past your eyes, huh? <sighs> yeah. Even when the princesses had, had decided on who had the right to take that dress thanks to you, 
I don't think they're happy. Well, at least one of them isn't. So I'm thinking of making a dress that looks exactly like that one and give it to the princess. Give it to Princess Martha before the day of the wedding. You can't. It was made by the most talented tailor in our country and he had already passed away. There's no way someone with ordinary skill can make an exact replica. Don't be a bitch! Wait. Don't be a bitch! You won't even let me try? That's what I hate most about you, Roxanne. Not everything can be decided by logic. Sometimes you have to put your feeling into account as well. That's something I need to get better at. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Roxanne's stress increased. Shit. Okay, so we need to rest tonight for sure. Let's get a little bit more strength. Done planning. Morning. Olivia joins Roxanne's training session today. She kind of slows everything down with her clumsiness, but it's okay. Please spend more time with your elder sister, Olivia. Roxanne loves you very much. Love, love. Afternoon. Lady Tatiana is the first princess, so she has many duties to attend to. The only instance she can relax is her afternoon tea time. She loves the black tea Roxanne makes a lot. She loves the cookies Roxanne bakes as well. She seems to ad adore the bunny-shaped cookies the most. But if Roxanne keeps feeding Lady Tatiana delicious cookies like this, the princess is... The princess is... Possessive. Going to get a little chubbier. And... Is it a bad thing though? Lady Tatiana's cute nevertheless. Evening. Oh no, it's not good to get all stressed out. I'm not reading this one. Day five. Okay. Let's do some more work, go back here. I need more rest, clearly, because, like, the stress is getting up a bit. Morning. Work, work, work. Afternoon. Lady Martha loves kids. She often plays with the children from the areas around the castle. I get more strength out of this? Even when those filthy little brats dirty her dress, she still plays with them. She has a kind heart. Apparently I don't. Roxanne doesn't enjoy children's company much. She doesn't like cleaning the stain on Lady Martha's dress either. But for the princesses, princesses, uh, Roxanne can do anything. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Are we bullying someone? Oh no, it's not good to get all stressed out. Roxanne decided to spend her, e spent her evening relaxing by bullying the men's servants with Princess Martha. <laughs> That's amazing. Looking down on them and laughing at their misery is fun, fun. <laughs> Man, I'm a bitch. Day six. Oh, so was it gonna be 13 days? Okay. I can handle a little bit of stress. Let's talk to the sister. Uh, Martha again, and... Work. Work hard, work hard. Yeah, we know this part. Evening, there we go. I've already decided. I'll help you with making the dress. W what? I don't need your help. The seam over there is backward. <laughs> what? Oh no, my three hours handiwork. I uh, give up. Stop. Don't be so frustrated, I'm here to help you. <laughs> What's with the sudden change of heart? I thought you didn't think it was possible, okay. Well, I have nothing better to do at night anyway, and I want to spend more time doing something together with you before my event eventual departure. I almost said eventful. <sighs> All right, you could do whatever you want. I don't think I can finish making this dress by myself anyway. Don't hog all the credit when we're done, okay? No, it's all yours. Got it. Ow! Did the needle prick your finger? Are you okay? I'm fine. Ugh. Don't cry. Let me see it. It can be ser- No, what? How? I've already said I'm fine. There's no need to fuss about it. I'm not a kid, you know. Olivia, why do you want to be a grown-up so bad? Why don't I? You never take me seriously because you always treat me like I'm a kid who doesn't know better. I'm already 15, a fully functional adult. I could take care of myself. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. It's just, I've already known from a long time ago that the day when we'd have to part would eventually come, and I won't be able to take care of you anymore. I guess that's the reason why I want to see you as my adorable little Olivia forever. Dots. Jeez. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep now. Good night, Roxanne. She liked hearing that. She liked hearing that. Roxanne's stress increased. Shit. Rest time. I gotta do that. Uh, let's go back with you and work. Roxanne works with Olivia today. Lady Tatiana, may I come in? Dots. Milady? Dots. Roxanne entered the room. Mm. Princess Tatiana was nodding off in front of a huge pile of documents. Her hand was still clutching the two pieces of the broken ring. Poor princess. Hmm? Uh, 
Oh, Lady Tatiana, did I stir you up? The, what? What are you? You're going to catch a cold if you sleep on the desk, so I'm carrying you to your bed. Uh, please put me down. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, shit. Dots. It's not nighttime yet, and I was just napping, okay? There's no need for you to go to such length, Roxanne. <laughs> My apologies. Dots. Was I heavy? Not at all. Your weight is cubed. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, what does it mean? Cute. It's just the right amount. Not too heavy, but not too light. I can both lift you up with ease and feel the softness of your body at the same time. What? And I personally find it very endearing. Roxanne, I can't get what's in your head sometimes. I really can't. <laughs> what is this smell? Did you bake cookies again today? Yes. Please take a little break from work and enjoy some tea and cookies, m'lady. Mm, okay, tea time is the best. Princess Tatiana's smile is the nation's most sacred treasure. Wow. I can't even remember when I started nodding off. I'm still so sleepy. I guess it's because I stayed up too late last night. Please don't overwork yourself like that anymore. Jeez, you've been repeating those words for the millionth times already. I know that I'm very sickly at times, but I still have my duty as the first princess. I, sometimes I wonder what would happen if I abandoned my position to run away. Or if Martha was the first princess instead of me. But there's no use thinking of what would never happen, right? After all, I'd never abandon my duty. And Martha will always be Mar- What is that supposed to mean? Roxanne sends Princess Tatiana's sudden melancholy. I know that it's unreasonable for me to say these words, but I'm jealous of Martha. I really am. To the point that I think of thing like I'm not needed if Martha's here all the time. It makes me feel frustrated, and it tires me out more than my works and duties do. Martha, she's more beautiful than I am, more charismatic than I can ever be. She's better than me in almost every subjects. She even gets to have you. I'm jealous of Martha. Even when I have all the privilege of being the kingdom's first princess. I'm a horrible person. Stop that. Lady Tatiana. I'll be returning to work now. Thank you for the lovely afternoon stack. snack, Roxanne. Privilege of being the first princess comes with heavy responsibilities on your shoulders. Huh? And even if Lady Martha's better than you in every aspects, that doesn't change the fact that she's still the second princess. People expects great thing from you, Lady Tatiana. Isn't that the reason why you've always tired? Tried your best? I can read. Even when your health doesn't allow it? It's okay to feel jealousy towards people who are naturally talented. That doesn't make you a terrible person at all. And it's also okay to feel proud of yourself for working hard to meet the expectation of people. You always try your best. You're hardworking and you're absolutely worthy of the title of the first princess. So please don't waste your time and energy worrying about trivial things. Focus on yourself, on who you are, on what you can contribute with your own abilities. I know it's impossible to not feel jealousy or inferior, but once you're willing to look past them, everything will become much more easier for yourself. That's what I think. Wow. Thank you, Roxanne. Your words really make me feel way better. And now I'm feeling so ashamed of myself for thinking like that. There's no reason to. And I'm still embarrassed. You're cute when your cheeks are red, my lady. She's cut it out. Dots. Thank you, Roxanne. You're welcome, my princess. Okay. More porn. Nice. Day eight. Okay. We need more stress to go down, so let's... Yeah, this'll work. Nosebleed. We know this one. Bullying here and work. Yes, cutscene. So this is the difference between a master and an ordinary person. No matter how much we try, we can't make the exact same pattern. Ah, that's it, I give up. No, you don't. Lower your voice, Olivia. You're gonna wake the whole palace up. <laughs> I'm a failure. I can't get anything done. Stop it. Please leave me alone for now. You don't have to come here from now on. Absolutely not. Dots. If only I had the skill needed to help Olivia. Roxanne's stress increased. Absolutely fucking not. I am going to... Oh, I need rest real bad. Okay. Let's go with Martha one more time and work. 
Work hard, work hard. We know this one. We know this one. Yes, stress way down. Stress is still really high. Why the fuck? Princess Martha joins in Roxanne's martial art training session today. Yay. The way with her every move is as elegant as always. Please keep watching over Roxanne and Lady Martha. Lady Tatiana, do you have some time, some time to spare? Yes, Roxanne. Is there something the matter? Roxanne pulls out a wooden box from under her apron's pocket. Inside this box is something that I have put a lot of my effort and feeling into making. Oh, what a lovely thing. If my ask, is it for me? I'm afraid not, milady. Uh-oh. Not yet. Don't tease me so <laughs> Uh, nice. Do you want to know what's inside this box? What is it? I can't tell you. Why? Roxanne, stop teasing me. Now you've made me curious. Well, I want to play a game with you, milady. If you win that game, I'll give you this box along with the thing inside it. And if I lose, then you'll have to kiss me. Okay, what? Like lovers would. I can't do that. Why, if I may I ask, milady? I'm the first princess, and I'm going to get married very soon, too. I can't just go ahead and kiss my maid like it's no one's problem. Not because we're both female. I said stop teasing me, Roxanne. It's definitely just the fact that she's getting married. She doesn't want to cheat. If you want to see... No, have what's in this box. You'll have to agree to my turn, though. So would you like to take the risk and start the bet? What are we going to play? You know what? I can't run fast or jump high. I'll be at a total disadvantage if it's a game that requires physical strength. It seems like I'll be at disadvantage too with a game of wit against you, my dear princess. So how about pitting our luck against each other's? Our luck? Let's play a simple card game. How does old maid sound? <laughs> it's a game of three, so I'll ask Olivia to join us. Hmm. No. That game won't do. I can never win against your natural poker face. And I have a feeling Olivia is going to be the last person to hold the old maid, no matter how many rounds we play. How about a stone a sco st stone skipping competition? We used to play it together a lot when we were younger, didn't we? I think our skill in skipping stone are about the same. So you've agreed to the bet. I don't plan on losing, as expected of Princess Tatiana. Let's head over to the pond in the garden right away. This is a long-ass cutscene. Have you finished preparing, Roxanne? Yes, my lady. how about you? Me too, and I've picked up plenty of pebbles that's just perfect for skipping. But how to choose them is a secret that's only passed down among the royal family. And you'll certainly never know about that, Roxanne. What kinds of rock did you pick up? Princess Tatiana's eyes are all lit up. She looks very enthusiastic. Oh, they are nothing special. I just happened to pick up rocks that are skinny, flat, and round, about the size of your palm. Which is just heavy enough to be immune to breezes and turbulence, but still light enough to be thrown with accuracy. Y th that's the royal family's secret! H how did you know about that? I think it's just standard fare, really. Alright, let's start our competition, shall we? We'll decide who's the winner after three rounds. Alright. Is this an actual game? Your turn first, milady. Here I go. <laughs> plop, 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 plop. Only five. I've certainly gotten rusty, haven't I? Your turn, Roxanne. Allow me. Dots. Six? That was quite close, huh? I want to win next round for sure. Since I'm the winner of the first round, please allow me to play first in the second. Go ahead. If you'll excuse me. One, two, three. Oh, only three. You'll be able to win this one easily. Alright. It seems so. Uh, I suddenly feel so pressured. Alright, please be more than three. <laughs> Plop. Dots, dots. Five rounds. Let's decide the winner in five rounds. No! You've won two rounds out of three. It's my loss. Dots. Princess Tatiana's cheeks are blushed crimson. <laughs> Lady Tatiana, about the bet, actually, I was about to let you win. From the start, my intention was to give you the thing inside this box. The game and the bet was just an excuse to get you to relax a little bit and have some fun. You don't have to do them. Before she could react, Princess Tatiana shut Roxanne up by pulling her in by the waist and pressing her lips with her own soft ones. Cute. It was a clumsy effort. Their nose, their nose, their singular nose bumped and Roxanne could feel the princess's breaths on her fringe. She could feel the princess's rapid heartbeats. 
and she could feel the desperation in those fingers that was clutching the back of her corset. Roxanne slowly closed her eyes. But before she knew it, Princess Tatiana pulled away. I'm sorry. Princess Tatiana walked away quickly, leaving Roxanne to stand alone by the pond, with the small wooden box still sitting obediently inside her pocket. Porn. Perfect. I need to know. Morning. Afternoon. Olivia? Oh, hey. Do you come here to preach at me about how to not be a quitter? Yes. But more than that, I want to continue to help you. Dots. You don't usually think highly of yourself, and sometimes you view yourself as inferior, a failure. But that isn't true. You have something that I don't have. It's creativity and a sensitive heart. The idea of making a copy of the dress to make both princesses happy has never crossed my mind. All I think about was which way was the most logical and reasonable to solve the problem. It's bad that I actually, like, understand this feeling completely. Uh, if we can combine your good points and mine, we'll make an invincible team. That's what I believe. So, what do you say about it, Olivia? Will you allow me to continue to help you? Dots. But we can never make a dress as pretty as the original one. The princesses are not that shallow. I think just Olivia's feeling is enough for them to feel happy. Yeah, ye. ye. <laughs> You're right. Roxanne's stress increased. Fuck. Stress is 100. Oh, damn it. Morning. Well, we get to see what this does. The day of the weddings has come. Roxanne felt sadness dwelling deep within her heart as she saw the faces of her princesses as they kissed their grooms. But what can a mere maid like her do? Dots. Bad end. Thank you for playing princess's maid. Uh-oh, it looks like you've just got the bad end. There are three other endings, though. Why don't you try starting the game again to see which ending you'll get next time? Check out my Itch.io page. I will put that in the description. If you want me to try and find the other three endings, let me know in the comments. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. If you liked this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to join the Legion, and I will see y'all in the next video.